Steam is the centralized platform for gaming on PC. There are pretenders out there, but it is Steam, friends. And those of us who've been playing games there for years know what is up. Hi folks, it's Falcon, and today on GameRank's 10 things only Steam gamers will understand. Starting off at number 10, when you get onto Steam, you buy a game for $29.99, $39.99, $49.99, and out of the blue, the game goes on sale. It's $9.99. Now, a lot of the time developers do a good job of keeping people in the loop in terms of when they're going to put their games on sale. But a lot of the times it is a surprise. Like we can't pretend that everyone is informed every time. It's not true. And every time this has happened, I don't care how much money I have in my wallet left over after either purchase. I've been like, are you serious? And it happens a lot because Steam is obviously pretty good for sales. They're always going on. And that is a, a blessing rather than a curse, but sometimes it can feel like a curse depending on when you bought a game. I mean, in all seriousness, when I buy games that cost full price, it's usually because I got a little bit of extra money on my hands. But hey, you know what? I could have used that little extra money on my hands to do anything other than buy a game that I could have bought the next day for 30 bucks less. I could have gone to Taco Bell or Wendy's or something. Not exactly sophisticated, but life simple pleasures. At number nine, I mentioned that Steam has a lot of sales. Like, they are just fantastic for sales. This is, this is something that I really am hesitant to complain about, but I think you'll get what I'm getting at here. Sometimes there's so many sales, you end up spending more money than if you had just bought a game at full price, and you end up with more games on your hands than you can play. Now, obviously, the more important thing here is the fact that it drains your bank account, because even though it seems like, relatively speaking, you're getting a Matthew Lesko, it's free type deal. You know, the question mark suit guy, government grants. Uh, you, you've probably seen him. You're never actually going to get to that point. It's always like 70, 75 percent, 80 percent. And that stuff can add up because if you had the amount of money that you needed to buy a single full price game and instead you buy seven games, you probably spent more money than the single full price game. I don't know if it's designed to work that way. Probably is. Seems like psychologically speaking, it's an easy trap to get people to fall into. And it's one that I've repeatedly fallen into. Like if that's the intention, good job, Steam. You did figure out an easy way to get an extra 10 to 20 bucks out of me. At number eight, you know how Steam is a good launcher for games? Like in all honesty, I think that it's probably my preferable launcher. It makes all the patching easy, makes all of the finding my games, remembering what my library is. Sometimes I genuinely forget what I own. That stuff is all taken care of. But I'll tell you what I don't like, when you have some dumb developer that requires their own launcher and Steam has to launch a launcher to launch the game. I hate that. It is totally unnecessary. I don't care if some company wants their own little pretend Steam where they can sell games and nobody skims a commission off them. I don't care. Frankly, it just doesn't matter to me. I, I will not use your launcher. If I can buy the game on Steam, I will buy it on Steam. Because like I said, having them all in one place is the convenience of Steam. It is the thing that Steam has made so much better about PC gaming over the last decade. So launching another launcher is like peak idiot crap, cash grab nonsense. And even if it doesn't cost anything, even if the other launcher is free, I promise you that launcher exists to try to get you to buy games directly from the publisher. I am never going to do that. Ubisoft, I am talking directly to you. At number seven, I kind of mentioned this in the Steam sale point, but it's very much related. Like, you know how I said you can end up buying a lot more games and maybe spending more money than you intended to. But even if you don't, you end up with a lot more games thanks to the constant Steam sales where games are literally like one third, one fourth, sometimes even one tenth the price that they normally are. And then you get an insane backlog and you have so many games that it feels like you have no games. Does that make sense? Like you don't know where to start. You feel like, ah, oh, I don't know what to do with my time. I'm bored, I need something. And then you get on Steam and you look at the library. There's just a ton of games there. There's so many of them and they're all invisible. You can't see a single one uh, and you just shut Steam and, and you continue on your, your mopey day. Ah, uh, if only I had something to do. And it's not that you're lazy or you don't wanna play them. It's literally that there's so many of them you do not know where to start, like I said. Sometimes being spoiled for choice is the most debilitating thing. 
let's say I've only got two games to play. I am probably 10 times more likely to actually play both games over a period of time because the only choice I have to make is which one of those ones I'm going to play. Oh, do I want to play an action RPG or do I want to play a puzzle game? Well, today I'm feeling very much like some Tetris 99. Thank you very much. It's easy. You can even flip a coin, but that is not what Steam is like. Not after a year or two. You just got this virtual great wall of China made of software. At number six, games that were on Steam and then they left and then they came back and then some leave again. Like when EA pulled basically everything from Steam and then slowly started putting them back later. Like in 2020, we saw Dragon Age and Need for Speed trickling back. Ubisoft decided to go for the Epic Game Store. Like they were on and off and now they're on Epic Game Store because Epic Game Store is, it's there. They've got basically unlimited money. I'm guessing Epic gave them money. Seems like that's probably what happened. But they were eventually going to launch Division 2 on Steam. Just never did. Then they launched Far Cry New Dawn on Steam and didn't bring Division 2 to Steam. I, I, I don't know what's even going on at Ubisoft. I don't think they know what's going on there. Ubisoft Connect is awful. <laughs> like, just gonna say that. Again, I don't know. Like, for all of us who just like using Steam because it's a very good specific big all-encompassing platform and just like playing pc games through it this is probably one of the more annoying possible things and number five steam is always a blessing for budget gaming i mean well kind of always games are always getting older let's just say right and a lot of people know that if they just wait it out a game is going to cost way less on steam this is not how games work in the retail store but online on steam you buy a new game when it comes out you're paying full price you buy a new game a year later, you're not. Well, most of the time. Some publishers are kind of huge turds about that, but whatever. If you want to wait five to six years, maybe even longer to buy a game, you can get that game for pennies. Now, I don't often wait that long to get games. I often you know, will wait a little bit, because let's just be clear, I'm not going to play absolutely every single AAA game when it launches. They've gotten longer and longer through the years. Like, your average game is lots of hours at this point so i tend to get in when the price is down a little bit but buying a game at like 39 bucks compared to 59 bucks i don't know if i would call that budget gaming but in truth feels a lot better buying games at that price point at number four that download estimated time remaining oh my god i don't know what they use to estimate the time but wow it does not know how much time it's gonna take you would think by now if the download speed fluctuates so much they'd have some kind of algorithmic way to compensate for that like oh hey when you download games from steam your download speed tends to fluctuate in this amount this is your average download speed let's calculate based on that that is not how that goes it will fluctuate from two minutes to two hours. Six years from now, this game will install itself. Oh wait, no, it's two seconds. Here you go, it's done. What? Like when this kind of stuff happens, if I'm watching the game download, I'm just like, what is going on? Like, should I stay by the computer? Cause like, obviously with the bigger, like near hundred gigabyte downloads, we're not, we're not watching that kind of stuff. I mean, do I have that little to do? I don't think so. I think I've got more going on than that. But like a few gigabyte game, yeah, I'll sit and watch it. And I am mystified, mystified. Like, like don't, just don't estimate it. If you're not gonna try, like don't estimate it. And number three, it's the Steam controller. Yeah, that. All right, so I, I just wanna be completely clear. I am not taking a dump on the actual Steam controller. The controller itself genuinely could have been one of the most amazing pieces of gaming technology. There's stuff that could have been done with that controller to make it something completely unique, to make new types of games, to make new control schemes for old games, but that did not happen. Like they did not spend the time adapting this thing to the current game economy or advocating with developers to integrate it. They just acted like, oh, people are gonna know what to do with this. And it looks, it looks insane. Nobody's gonna know what to do with that. I don't know what to do with that. Like most of the time, I honestly don't even want a controller. And if I do, I wanna play with an Xbox controller. And if I don't have an Xbox controller, I have a Steam controller. I'm gonna try to use the Steam controller like an Xbox controller because the Steam controller looks a lot like an Xbox controller that's got touch pads on it, but it's not. It's nothing like that. Using a Steam controller is nothing like that. What is it like? I don't know. They didn't bother. It never became integrated into gaming. It's just a thing. And that sucks because it had a lot of potential. 
At number two, when you near the end of a long search for a game to play, thinking you've finally found something perfect, thinking there's no way you won't play this one, this is it. The perfect game. Oh, you own it already. And you haven't played it at all. Wow, that's, uh, really? I guess I'm gonna play it now? Right, uh... And finally, at number one, just plain hating all the launchers. Am I talking about exactly the same thing that I was with the other launcher point? No, I do hate it when Steam launches another launcher. Again, Ubisoft, but honestly, I just all around hate the mass amount of launchers that there are. I don't want to launch launchers, I want to launch games. Meaning, if a launcher has to be part of it, it better just be one. Because frankly, just one launcher actually is kind of convenient. Like I listed off some of the launcher pros in the previous point. All of the launcher cons tend to revolve around there being more than one launcher. And since there are launchers in the world, that is a thing. Unfortunately, Steam isn't just gaming on PC. It's the majority of gaming, but some people still want a piece of that pie. Foolishly so. The main thing they manage to be is an inconvenience to me. That's it. I don't have anything else to say about the other launchers. Long live Steam. What do you think? Leave us a comment, let us know. If you like this video, click like. If you're not subscribed, now's a great time to do so. We upload brand new videos every day of the week. Best way to see them first is of course a subscription. So don't forget to click the subscribe button and enable all notifications. As always, we thank you very much for watching this video. I'm Falcon, you can follow me on Twitter at Falcon Hero. We'll see you next time right here on Game Ranks.